was so much harder than I thought. It's not too late, it's not too late. I see the hope in your heart. Don't let me, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Yeah, don't let me down. Hey guys, it's Kat, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips, tricks, and life hacks on how to make a smaller room look bigger. And if you guys want to see any more organization type videos, just give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments. If you just stumbled across my channel and this is the first time seeing my face, you should definitely click that subscribe button right over there and join the family. Okay, so without making this intro way too long, let's just get into the video. <laughs> Of course, having a ton of pillows makes your room feel super cozy. However, if you have a smaller room, your bed is most often the focal point of the room, so it's a lot better to get rid of those extra pillows. Just keep the essentials, maybe keep one big stuffed animal like my ginormous bear, and that will just make your room feel a lot bigger. <laughs> Now, if you have a ton of extra clothes that you just don't have anywhere to put because your closet's too small, I recommend getting these bins. I got mine for only like $20 each at Walmart. However, I think we can all agree that they don't really look that cute in a bedroom. And if you don't have anywhere to store them, this is what I did. I just took a white sheet and put that over them and then used a colorful blanket. And I kind of make it like made it like a little couch seating area. And I know it's not the comfiest thing to sit on, but it does add storage in my room and a place to sit for when people come into my room because there really isn't anywhere else to sit other than my bed so I actually think this is really awesome and you should try it out <laughs> So in my last organization video, I talked about using these mini hangers as a way to organize your sunglasses. But this really smart girl, my life is Laura, commented down below and was like, you can also use them to organize your jeans. Because they are a little bit smaller and they are still the felt, they'll fit your jeans perfectly, but they won't move around. So I hung up a pair of jeans on these little mini hangers and I also found that it works great for maxi skirts as well. So I just hang those up and put them on my rack and they're good to go. <laughs> Having a lot of pictures and posters all over your room can often make it feel a little bit more closed in. So take down the ones that you're not too crazy about and leave your favorites and that way you will still have your favorite pictures, but your walls look a little cleaner and your room make looks more open. <laughs> This may seem obvious, but having lighter colored walls is definitely going to make your room feel a little bit more open. And of course, it's not always possible to just go out and completely repaint your room. So if you have darker walls and you want your room to feel a little bit more open, I think it's a great idea to get like a big white tapestry or a really light colored tapestry and hang that on one of your walls because that'll kind of give you the same effect as repainting them. <laughs> Clutter, clutter, clutter. Clutter is the worst thing to have in a small room. It just makes every space look smaller than it already is and more crazy and you're not gonna feel as relaxed because there's stuff everywhere. So definitely take out some of the things that you don't really need in order to make shelves and nightstands and dressers look a lot cleaner and not as cluttered. <laughs> So one of my favorite ways to keep my room looking organized is by having a clothing rack. Now I love this for a couple of reasons. One, if you have a smaller closet, which a lot of smaller rooms do, it's great because you have some extra storage for all of your clothes. And also you can put your favorite pieces out there so when you wake up in the morning and you're trying to get dressed, you have a couple of your favorite outfits already placed on your clothing rack. You can style it however you want and decorate it and just make it fit your room. So I definitely recommend getting a clothing rack for any sized room, but especially for a smaller one because it helps with the whole closet space thing. <laughs> This one's pretty self-explanatory and pretty obvious, I think, but having a lot of mirrors around your room is also gonna help it feel more open and bigger. <laughs> And also going along with not having a lot of clutter, it really helps if everything has its place. That way it makes cleaning up a lot easier and your room's just gonna feel a lot more kind of put together, I guess, if everything it has its place and is always in its place. <laughs> 
So if you're anything like me and you have a ton of like snow globes and picture frames and mason jars and just a bunch of random stuff that is, was either given to you by someone special so you really don't want to get rid of it but if you put it in your room there's really no place to put it and it just makes your room look a little more cluttered then I recommend picking up some bins and you can store those under your bed or in an attic or in a basement and I know that this might sound obvious but for so long I was honestly so bad at letting go of things and I would think to myself if I put them away then I'm never gonna see it again. The person's love is not in the object that they gave you so no matter how special it is if you feel like it's just taking up extra space in your room there is nothing wrong with putting it in a box a nice box if you want get a really pretty box put it in the pretty box put it under your bed so that you know that you have it you haven't gotten rid of it but it's not taking up extra space that you need for something else. Hey again! Thank you so so much for watching the whole video. You were literally awesome for staying through the whole thing. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did, and of course subscribe to my channel. And my battery's about to die, so I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! It's not too late, it's not too late.